What is up, Fence fam? Joe Everest, the Fence Expert. Welcome to another hot take clip, a short clip of a recent live Q&A on my main YouTube channel. For more information on my main channel, as well as exactly the content this clip was pulled from, check out the description below. Let's go back to the fundamentals a little bit on this question. Talk a little bit about how you guys set up your initial string line. So he, he clarifies here a second ago. So uh, set up your string initial string line when you're setting your post. So we've gone to using Sean's equalizer tool, which is, it is a string line, but it is also a proportional measuring device at the same time. So traditionally, the way I was trained, the way I came up building fence was you would have a string line six inches off of your actual fence line so that you didn't have to move it every time you're drilling a hole. You measured six inches off of your start point, six inches off of your end point. That was your line plus six inches. Then you would take your tape measure. Well, you, you would have to take a calculator, figure out the fence line is X feet. Divide that by, you know, if we're doing wood, we did a lot of wood. We would divide that by eight. We want our post to be a maximum of eight foot on center. Well, it'd usually come out to some fractional number, seven point, some remainder, right? 7.58, whatever. So we'd say, okay, so 7.58, so seven and a half. We're going to measure seven and a half. And then the last section will be whatever that remainder is, right? Or we would split it. If it was a really weird one, we'd split it over two sections. There was some math involved in this, right? And then we'd have to take the tape measure and we'd measure out seven and a half, go mark it all the way down this line. If this is like a 300 foot line, that's a good bit of marking. And it's not exactly accurate, right? So you can start getting off. I mean, let's just talk about the paint marking is what an inch, maybe more, maybe less inch might in, inch sounds like a good average. So when you're marking this, are you marking, are you starting on the front of the mark, starting on the back of the mark, you're starting in the middle of the mark. Now you've got an inch margin of error. So are you measuring from the middle of that paint on one edge or the other of the paint? You start getting off, right? So, and typically you make up for that in the last panel or the last two panels, and it doesn't make a huge difference, but it's inaccurate. So what the equalizer tool does, understand, I don't get commission on it. Sean and I are going, I'd like to have a conversation with Sean about selling them. So we're, we are starting to sell fence materials online because fence material pricing is a little crazy right now. I see the middlemen uh, inflating prices a bit. I'm going to take advantage of that. Sell them for what they should cost. It, anyway, I'm off on a tangent. I'm going to talk to Sean about selling this tool. However, right now, before I even started selling these tools, my opinion was it's a valuable tool, and we use it. Our guys use it out on the truck. I use it in videos. It is a great tool. So we use the equalizer to both run our string line right, or our fence line, now, we still step off six inches so that we don't have to move it when we're drilling. We simply measure six inches. That gives us our line. Uh, but it also, in an instant, gives us our exact proportional markings just because the way this thing works, think of bungee cord, like an industrial bungee cord, with markings at exactly where these posts should be. If you stretch this thing out to the tightest it can go, those will be your eight-foot markings. So the most... These posts can be spaced as eight foot on center. However, if you relax it to that last tag lines up with your corner, your end, wherever you want to change direction or in this fence, then every tab along the line now automatically readjusts to whatever that seven foot and a remainder is. It is a great tool. I've got a video. I know it's kind of hard to explain in words. I've got a video on my channel here on, if you guys are watching me on YouTube, where I use that equalizer tool, I explain it a little bit, it is incredibly fast and by default is incredibly accurate. So you should certainly check it out.